Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me. I'm still in lockdown, but I'm back into my local woods and I'm exploring the area that I would have gone before, which was the kind of swampy area I mentioned. But as you can see here, you should be able to see, it's frozen. So we've had a cold snap. We had some uh, snow maybe, what, five days ago now. And there's still snow lying on the ground because the temperatures haven't gone too warm. But in the area of the swamp area there's no flow in the water so i can imagine that you know it's a dark area anyway there's no light that gets into it from the daytime sun even though it's low at this time of the year it's in january so this whole area here has remained sub zero so it's going to be nice i'm going to look for some uh, intimate shots i think is probably the best thing i'm going to describe today um be able to see some patterns in the ice be able to see some patterns within the uh, reeds that are there or look for some of the vegetation or look for some of the light as it starts to come through and maybe lights up one or two of the areas as well but yeah definitely going to be a different episode anyway for me for today I am excited to see what I can find maybe I'll find nothing but I'm sure I'll find something but yeah let's go let's go explore the swamp and let's look for some intimate details I haven't had to go far to find my first composition and it was actually right underneath where I had you placed earlier when I was recording my intro into this episode. And as I had predicted, there's some frozen areas, well a lot of it is frozen, but there's some interesting frozen areas. And there's one area just below me here where there's a nice bit of white within the ice so it's not completely dark. And I'm going to be going handheld and I'm actually using my zoom lens to be able to get in to try and get some intimate details on that. This is not a macro lens. But I have used it before to kind of get in close to subjects, so it has seemed to work for me in the past. When another advantage, I suppose, then with the EOS R is that it has the focus peaking. So when I'm looking through here on the EVF, I can twist my focus and I can see everything then becoming sharp within the image. And because I'm handheld as well, I want to get as fast enough shutter speed as I as I need to because I don't want to have any blur within the image. I am at f four at the moment to give me the widest aperture and I'm at one sixtieth of a second and by doing that um, it gives me an opportunity to bump up my ISO and my ISO at the moment is at 400 I don't see that's going to have any issue in regards to the image integrity but yeah first shot anyway down didn't have to go far let's see how we get on here I'm going to uh, go explore here as you can see I'm wearing what you may not be able to see but I'm wearing my wellies I normally wear when I'm going to the sea because I had planned to come in here so I am going to go into the ice, being careful obviously that I don't break any compositions as I go into that, but yeah, I think it's actually going to be nice. I think I'm going to get some nice patterns, and yeah, we'll continue on and we'll see what else I find. This is great crack altogether. I mean, I've barely even left this area, and I've managed to pick out a number of different abstract types of shots with the ice and the ground and the water. Still going handheld, it is a challenge to get the focus absolutely spot on, but you know, I'm enjoying that challenge as well. I hope I actually did get them sharp now, but you know, it's interesting to be able to see that, that on the base of your feet, when you start to look for those details, do they actually just appear or is it because you're looking for them? Most likely it's because you're looking for them because they were there all the time anyway, but we always kind of just look ahead, look where we're going and not really look down to our feet. I decided to come in here because I was taking a walk yesterday with my family and there's a pathway that goes up along this side here and as I looked down and it was in the afternoon and there was still ice here so I said okay this place could be interesting to come to it's early morning now so it was at minus three or minus four overnight and this area is quite cold 
and there's probably around an inch of ice actually in the area here some areas actually can take my weight whereas other areas i can feel it cracking underneath my feet so i haven't even gone into this area just yet yet i've managed to get a number of different photographs around the area itself i'm going to try and look for some bubbles if i can and try and look for some contrast as well because it's such a dark area with all of the leaves and everything else that are underneath that when you get that frozen there's nothing really to distinguish it but if you get something that's bright against the dark then you get a nice bit of contrast and i also think as well it makes the image kind of jump more for me anyway when i'm looking at it in the back of the uh, screen here on the camera settings wise as well i've changed around i've kind of gone up to around f8 because again i was struggling with the the the, the focal plane at f4 and unless I had the camera exactly straight and hand holding it, meaning I'm like this to get the shot, there's potential that there'll be areas within the photograph that um, won't be sharp. I might end up getting the tripod and bringing it in here as well when I do get into the center of this area. But yeah, for now anyway, um, handheld shots, F8, playing around, seeing what I can get. And it's a lot of fun. Like I said, it's great crack altogether. So yeah, I'll give you a, a look at these images. Let's continue on now. Maybe we'll get something that will be... Uh, a jumper, something that I'll go, wow, never thought I'd get that inside in this dregs of an area of the wood. I was so excited there a moment ago as I found some bubbles. Now it doesn't come with its own challenges. So I'm at the moment, I've decided to put my camera on the tripod and I'm trying to maneuver my way along the bank here that I'm not going to disturb the ice. But what I'm also needing to do is to put my tripod directly on the ice. Now, as you can see here, it's able to take the weight of the tripod and I don't want to crack the ice but I need, want to be able to get the camera over a bit so I might have to break the edges but if I break the edge here I run the risk of actually cracking my subject so let's see okay try it this way we're right above we'll see if I can take the shot I'm gonna have to try and take it blindly as the first one and see how I get on I'm gonna actually turn on autofocus I don't like doing that, but I'll do that for now anyway, just to see how I get on here. I can see the bubbles that are there. Let's see if it does do it. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to zoom all the way down into my bubbles that I want to photograph now. I'm going to take my focus back into manual. I'm going to look to see when that sweet spot will come in. Check as well to see how my exposure is and take the shot lovely don't know <laughs> maybe it'll work maybe it won't work but uh, yeah i'm in the swamp now at the moment here but like i said i don't want to crack the subject that's there but yeah going to still play around i think it'll be interesting i see another little spot that's over here now as well which would mean that i have to go in and break that ice but i knew i was going to have to do that anyway but i didn't want to break the compositions as i was waiting for them also but yeah this is interesting didn't think i'd be getting some nice intimate shots in this disaster of an area but yeah nonetheless photography will always surprise you this is actually deeper than i expected so i was on the very edge over here trying to get those bubble shots i think i might have been in the side of the frame here on that camera i'm not quite sure but um you can kind of see it here on these the water came up as far as here now my boots go as far as here i can go a bit further that's no problem but the muck that i ended up going my feet down into when i lifted one of my boots out my foot almost came out of my boots so i actually had to use my toes to drag the rest of the, the boot out of the swamp i suppose it's a swamp so you know what do i expect I expect it to be like a swamp but at the same point 
don't think I'm going to go into the middle of the ice here because it's not going to take the weight of anyway, it'll crack. The other side to it as well is that um, with the light that's coming in here, I'm going to play around for another 10 or 15 minutes and see you now if I can play around with the light that's starting to hit this area and hopefully kind of, you know, present a couple of different uh, photographs. Um, there's also uh, a robin. He's uh, flying around here. I'm going to see if I can try and catch a shot of him as well while I have the long lens on. But he'd have to come some bit close to me to be able to get him separated out from the chaos that's in the background within that wood. But yeah, I'm excited actually to get home and see what type of photographs I've gotten this morning. I've never really taken these type of intimate shots in the past, you know, lockdown kind of forces you to try to think differently. Me also, you know, and the, the pressure I put on myself to be able to have a weekly video and not just any old sort of weekly video. I want to try and entertain myself when I'm making it. So if I don't enjoy making it, I'm not going to release it. But I think I'm going to enjoy uh, making this one because you'd never think in the areas that you'd kind of walk past, they look ugly most of the time uh, with the ice that's here now it does present some different compositions so thank you very very much for joining me this morning i hope you've enjoyed this uh, journey to the swamp uh, and the ice for the intimate details it's your if it's your first time on the channel please do hit that subscribe button give me a like give me a comment and until the next time schlange folgen